I just got to my grandpa's house and now we're going to get some breakfast at the breakfast stand. In most residential communities in China, you will find small breakfast stands everywhere. Um, but they only last from 6 a.m. until around, um, I think my grandpa told me 9 a.m. Because right now it's 7.30 and uh, he told me that I need to be here by 7. So <laughs> let's see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So there are around four breakfast stands over there. I think we're gonna pick one. This breakfast stand and this breakfast stand both serve what we want to get, um, which is called Jian Bing Bao Yu Tao. It's it's kind of like a crepe where you can add different toppings on top of it. So this breakfast is very typical all over China, but the toppings may differ a bit depending on the region. <笑>给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下给我放了一下
I think the yotel could be, like the fried dough could be a little bit more crispier. But it does hit the spot because it's one of my favorite breakfast foods. By the way, I later found a shop in the market that sells fresh yotel or fried dough, which is best eaten right after it's fried. Now I'm gonna open the tofu. This tofu is so soft. I'm gonna mix up all the toppings. There's some little shrimp. Some pickled vegetables and cilantro. Alright, it's pretty well mixed. My mom doesn't like spicy, so there's not a lot of spicy sauce, just a little bit. Mmm, I really like this. I love it. My mom is back with um, the wonton soup that she got. You have so many options for breakfast. Um, you can walk past all these stalls and they have a lot of variety of breakfast. Everything costs around $1. All the things we got, I think the tofu was only around 60 cents, but the other two items were around one dollar each. Um, super affordable and you have a lot of options. Um, right now, it's also one of the busiest times. People are here getting breakfast, they're also getting their groceries for the day. People here really care about freshness of groceries, so they come here every morning in the market and then they get the groceries for lunch and dinner, um, so it's super busy in the morning. This place sells fresh fish balls and they said it's okay if I want to film how they make the fish balls, which was super kind of them. They blend the fresh fish meat until it turns into a paste, then boils it into fish balls. <laughs> After breakfast, my mom went to shop for groceries in the market and I went for a walk around the neighborhood with my grandpa. Okay, now we just got to the public square with my grandpa. Um, so most people here live in these tall apartment buildings. You can probably see behind me. Probably not a, a lot of space to exercise. So all the residents will gather in this public square area and do exercises. One of the most popular exercises is dancing in China. So you'll see a lot of different groups here that are doing their own choreographed dance. And people will do Tai Chi, they will practice Kung Fu, or they have like different types of dances. One kind of looks like Zumba to me. And it's a really nice way for the older generation to get up in the morning and do their exercises. So people usually are here 
from 8 a.m. all the way until 10 a.m. or whenever they get tired. But you can see they're doing all sorts of different dances. I only walked around here once and I already see few groups doing different formations of dances. So these people, they are most likely uh, practicing Tai Chi here. Now we're walking to an exercising area of the part of the public square. These are also super common in China. You don't really need to pay for a gym here. Um, most people use these exercise equipment to do their daily exercises. My grandpa is showing me how to use all these machines here. All right, I want to try this one as well. As we were walking back home, we saw a little girl and a Sheba also using the same machine. <笑>我说都好玩哦这个小女孩和这个小狗一起玩<笑> 豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。豆豆。